So this video is gonna be all over the place. Um, I'm actually headed into a Borders bookstore. Not Borders, Barnes and Nobles. I do miss Borders though. Uh, there's a Batman magazine that I'm actually on the hunt for. First time actually looking for it, but I wanna see if they have it. It's like, I think it's called Spoiler Magazine. I see a Star Wars one. Jaws. Oh, this is pretty cool. Shutter. I got a Spider-Man, Spider-Man book, America's favorite superhero. Um, oh, they still have some horror magazines. Fangoria. What's on the cover of that? Horror, heavy metal. Um, let's see if we can find it. Vampires, Dungeons and Dragons, you got Indiana Jones. This is cool, Superman one. There's an Iron Man. I wonder what the prices now are in magazines. Goku. Don't think I'm going to find it here. I think I would have found it already if it was out. I actually never knew this was a thing. A film by Zack Snyder, Armory of the Dead, making of the film. Netflix, this is pretty awesome. This is actually a book that I've been wanting for quite a while. Batmobile manual. We've got a Back to the Future one too. Oh, what is this? The Batman Mysteries of Gotham City? It's another cool one right here. The Secret Stash. Yeah, I found a few cool vinyls. The Crow. Dark Knight. Batman Forever. Thirty-four bucks, tempting. Okay, me and Brad are in the city of Orange to film at some vintage stores. I'm letting Brad record this time because last time he recorded, he was supposed to record me talking to the voice of Tales in the Crypt, and he recorded my feet. So let's see how how well Brad does today, right, Brad? I'm better with the camera. Show the, show the what? I'm better with the camera. Okay, show the environment here. This is uh, this whole street is where we're going to be hitting vintage stores. That one over there. One right here on the left, and then the one directly right across from it, right there, the antique. This is the only street that we hit, but there is a lot of restaurants here. Ain't that right, Brad? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All oh, right. There's antique store here. Yeah, muffs. How many of you guys like muffs? Brad, you know what a muff is? Dude, I thought this place opened at 10 30. It's at 10 o'clock. So this is the first spot we're hitting here. Oh, it is open. Yeah. Public, public restrooms. Right, let me start from, dude, I know Brad wants that, that tank. It's a Pennywise poster. Where's that vintage guy that's like super overpriced? Whoop, whoop, gotta look at the books because they might have Goosebumps CDs, DVDs, packs. Dark Fire. Oh, we got some VHSs at the bottom. The game. What the heck is this? Oh, it's yoga. Russian something. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, mask toys. Dude, These this place is like... I don't want anybody to hear me. It's like overpriced. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can film on the left-hand side. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I can tease the camera oh, there in a second. Charizard. We got an Ecto-1. With the prices, I don't even know if that's like a popular item or maybe do I? I stopped collecting. That's a pretty nifty helicopter. There's a lot of stuff in here. That slave one's been sitting here, probably because of the price, I'm sure. But well, they got a Marvel Legends back there. That's the movie version Punisher, a bat an old Batman comic. 650 bucks, 1945. Detective comic number 104. Some TMNT signed by Eastman. Which you can get from his website. But to my left, which I cannot film, um, a bunch of adult magazines. Okay, but so, so to the right of me, there's, there's the adult magazines, but in this little booth, they actually do have comic books. Uh-oh. See, and this is what Robert looks for, Conan. So now I'm gonna have to send him, send him a picture of Conan comics. This was quite the review. Okay. So the Charger, Charger, we just we just saw is going for four hundred dollars on eBay. 
Oh, how much do you think it's here? It's probably like 900 here. This guy's like super overpriced. Something. Oh, dude, we got some new kids in the block cards. Probably have the, I think these have gums. Yep, no, no, I don't know if they have gum in them. Uh, we got the Jerky Boy CD, some Dick Tracy figures. Does that say 20? I thought it said two bucks. Dude, a Buffy the Vampire Slayer figure. Another item Robert would probably want. Got a game plane too. What's in here? Oh, these are Gremlins cards. Yeah, for like a 15 bucks for a full thing of Gremlins cards. Let's see what we got. Some wrestling, some Star Trek, and Blossom? It's a Blossom figure. Okay, I gotta like scroll down like this because if I go up, we get into the nudie magazines. So I can't show that. But we got a King Sphinx down here, an old NES controller. Dude, this is one of my favorite figures as a kid. A character I always wanted to see more in uh, in Power Rangers. Dick Tracy with the cassette tapes. Dude, I remember these. And then some records. See what Gizmo. What? I got through. They got some games. PS3, PS2. Okay. Probably nothing I want though. Oh, just look, a vintage Nirvana shirt. Whoa. This is priced at, I don't even, actually, you know what? I don't know if this is vintage. I don't think so. It's double stitched. There's a couple of Nirvana ones. See, this is what they have here. A bunch of Playboy magazines literally on my left side. Should we show like a quick tease? Yeah. There he is, air supply. That's not good. Oh, dude, they still have that Hercules figure here. And... Flintstones movie figures. 90 bucks for a... I wonder if that's an OG poster of um, Jack Sparrow. I never even knew that they made Barbie comics. Barbie fashion. Oh, what's that? Knights of the what? Look at these records. They're like old books. Dude, is sports card... Did, did this like die down? The, like the popularity of this because during the pandemic it was so popular and people were yeah people were opening shops and then shops started closing down because i don't know if, like if you guys follow cards and everything is it still is the market still good for these let brad and me know because brad's really interested Ooh, look i don't know if brad did but i grew up with these books did you do you remember these style of books brad yeah nah that's too old but like this with like that yeah, like little silver I don't know about that, but. spine. There's an old Superman book in there. Bedtime stories. Oh, look at that freaking mummy plate. That's pretty awesome. This booth has a bunch of just like random stuff, which is cool. That's a Simpsons chess set. I've never seen that. This is good old MJ. Elvis. <laughs> huh? Look at that freaking one before we go with this one. Look at this Vader bike. That is awesome. I would not fit this. Brad might fit this. What? All these candles. Yeah. I didn't realize that he has a gangster, gangster Vader. The Dick Tracy hat. Ocean Pacific. That's pretty cool. The little Rob Zombie. What is that? Framed print. Brad, 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 Brad. Before we get started. Come over here. Just look at that shelf. What is it? Oh, no. Well, this is my first time coming into this place and seeing a hot toy in here. This is from the Avengers Campus. What the heck? I wonder what they have it priced at. Oh, it's right here. 425, damn. There's short round. Someone took them out of the packaging. It's an old Tauntaun. Got some CDs. Bunch of comics in here, dang. Old ones too. Electronic gaming, no, that's Nintendo power. Damn. That looks like a pretty cool book. Seven bucks, man. Nah. Get it cheaper. Cheaper, but. Oh, look at these Venom comics. Dang, dude, I need that one. Oh, I think I said that the last time I came here. I do need that one. The uh, special edition, Guilty as Charged. 
That's that's the venom I grew up with. That like look. Kind of want it. Kind of want it. All these rando figures. I got some Sega games here. Jungle Strike. I remember playing Jungle Strike. Twenty bucks for both versions of Sonic. I actually do need Sonic Part Two. Uh, Pennywise. I know Brad wanted these. He collects these, and I don't know why. What? But he. I don't know what it is. I know what you were talking about. The wiener. Look at that. Wait. Okay. Why can't this? This is twenty eight. Why can't it be over here too? Space Lobo. Lots of cool stuff. New dealer. This is seventy eight. And showcase blue thirty. If you're interested in an item, that should please ask the salesperson. I was hoping these two were together because I would get that comic for twenty percent off. It's a lot of Hot Wheels. And like newer newer items last time we went to swami we found the hercules cards looks like we found some oh no these are, are these hercules or this xena no this is xena but they have uh look who's on here i always forget this guy was on here bruce campbell these are special edition cards too we got the hologram one there's hercules and eolus this is five bucks actually not bad that is not bad for that what else is in here this MVP figure. Yeah, this one always has like newer stuff, but like it always sits. Okay, so we're going downstairs in the squeaky chairs, or chairs, steps. How long has it been since we've been here, Brad? Like, wow. more than two months, right? Something like that. Chess. Yeah, tons of vinyls. I don't know if the secret stash still has a booth in here. Whoa. Got a Vader. Do not touch. The wise are right here. Do not touch. And it's not for sale. He's got no shoes on. Oh, shoot. And this booth is mainly like a bunch of vintage Star, Star Wars. Star Trek. Dude, there's Grogu like in here. We gotta get out of here. It's like a bunch of Grogu in here. Look at this. I think, I don't know if this is Hasbro or if this is like the, that EFX company. I think I said it right. Whoa, what the heck is this? Kenobi lightsaber. Hmm, looks like a lightsaber. Oh yeah, I think the, the secret game stash took off. That's the booth he was supposed to be in. Got some VHSs, the Mighty Ducks. There's Rogue, some Star Wars VHSs, Alvin and the Chipmunks, some Loose Little Figs, Trolls. Oh, the lunch pails are still here, and they're priced at twenty dollars. I would get that if it was a cleaner, a cleaner uh, print on there. The VR Trooper one's pretty tempting too. Dude, look at all this stuff. It's just like a bunch of randos. Who's that? Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl. Turtles. It's like a mixture of figures and it looks like uh, kids meal stuff. Yeah, they got the Back to the Future kids meals. I have a lot of those. There's actually the turtle van in here, an X-Men VHS. Dude, they have a freaking mask VHS in here. And flipper. I think this guy looks like, well, it kind of does, I guess. Uh, these are vintage I thought I just saw a, uh, oh, and the Pantera shirt. I don't know if this are, these are vintage. And the way that they taught me, you can tell, is if it's single stitched. This is double stitched. That's a way to find out if it is uh, a vintage. But if you guys know any other ways to tell if a shirt's vintage, let me know. Look at this. Check this out. Watch this. I think this is vintage. 45 bucks, Marvel Comics, sweater. Pretty sure this is vintage. Can you see the print on that? So it's Spider-Man and Cap. Oh, it's actually got... Ghost Rider on it. Well, I haven't turned it around. I don't know if it's the same print in the back. Yeah, it is. But there's not one. There's two. This that's not Harley Davidson. This one here is. Okay, never mind. That's Tasmanian Devil. Would you wear this, bro? Nope. This is, this is definitely vintage though. But these are cool. So this one is 45 at a size large. Okay. No. no there's nothing else in here, bro.
Dude, see, look, these, now these are vintage posters right here. So we have The Dark Half, Stephen King book, directed by George Romero, Star Wars, Phantom Menace. I still want this Mortal Kombat poster, but what is the price on this thing? Again, 35 bucks. And then this vintage Batman one, but this came in a poster book, if I'm not mistaken, removable poster tape. Yeah, this came in a, uh, in an actual poster book. That's pretty awesome. Though I don't collect, um, what is that? The booklet, the Super Nintendo, Nintendo games. Okay, here, oh, look at that, dude. Freaking Mortal Kombat, $85, no, this is MB. Okay, so, dude, there's so much memories. And then there's more of those magazines right here, the video game magazines, but me and Brad bought the other ones for like a super cheap price. And then we came back and they were like priced higher. That old Captain, uh, Captain Planet figure. And then we have some uh, McFarlane's. This is, I got this book here. I don't know if no one's behind me. Um, this one here, this original Stephen King book, I got at the hardcover and I think I only paid like 15 for it. And it's 45 now. What is this? Ghost Castle. Dracula Vampire Thriller. Oh man. McFarlane. Spawn. I don't, I want to say this was here the last time we came in, but not 100% sure. Chewbacca. Oh look, old Star Wars, Star Wars books. This used to be my go-to uh, booth for a bunch of retro Batman stuff, but she doesn't have it anymore. I still have this vintage poster. I got the other one. It was actually a really clean uh, print. Were you here with me, Brad, when yeah. I picked the... Yeah, you were here with me. Dude, we should get this for Brad. All right, this booth has some vintage shirts, but they also have an old school Joker figure. $25 for this vintage figure which I actually think is a pretty good price for this one. Oh, I never knew they made a Matrix figure like that. See that? It almost looks like the Riddler. And then we have a Mars Attacks. But everything else seems to be kind of newish and vintage. Yeah, we got some, I'm assuming these are vintage uh, Ren and Stimpy figures here. Oh, dude, I don't know what the heck this is. That is a Spider-Man Captain America jigsaw puzzle. That thing looks freaking old. But what caught my eye was some Star Wars stuff in here. Uh, we have a, damn, 40 bucks for the magazine. Jabba's Court. Dude, there's a lot of, no, it's not all Star Wars. You gotta watch out though, because um, we're, we're, this is pretty cool. I've never seen this. There's a lot of um, like Playboy magazines that are here. So if you guys see some boobies here, I apologize. So vinyl records. But uh, they got another one right here. That's a mega, what? Fold color set. Return of the Jedi, dark accents. Cool. Look at that. Trade West. Ikari Warriors. Yeah. Brad actually found a uh, toy that he wants. It's a Nerf gun. Oh, dude. What? This one? Yes. I remember. You so got to talk because the music's going to get us monetized. Now, come on. Let's go. So, um, yes? Come this on. This one had a lot of uh, customization uh -huh. features. Cause dude, this thing's stuff. huge. I know. It is good. Jesus Christ, what the heck? Mine's bigger. Oh, God. Okay, assuming we don't get hit by a car, we're going to Antique Mall. Here we go. I've actually found lots of good stuff in here. I think they're just opening, too. Cool. Ah, this shirt looks like it's taken from the uh, Marvel, Spider-Man Marvel Masterpiece comic cards. Pretty cool. Uh-oh. Dude, we gotta get that for your mom. An old 75 bucks to invite the devil to your house. Oh, look at that, Sega Genesis 70. This is actually the guy I got my Sega from. Oh, dude, Super Nintendo. N64 100 complete console case. And then we have, this one's $85 Super Nintendo complete tested. Man, yikes. I, I, these are two consoles that I do want to. They have a back console. Ah! What else do we have? Slave One, which I do want, but I think you can find one box for that price. But this is awesome. There's like tons of aliens and predator figures in here. Ripley's 15. Echo Red. Dude. Some 
Cars, Vampirella, Dubac, I do need that, but not for that price though. Pee wee. Oh, look at that, I've never seen that. The Cap 2 Captivator. All these old vintage Star Wars figures. Look at this. See, this is. It says vintage. This is a vintage? Army. Vintage. Vintage Army of Dead. Army of Darkness. Huh. Looks new. So these. See, like, someone told me single stitch, but I don't know. I could, I could be wrong about the whole thing. But, um, that's cool. Lots of killers. Iron Maiden. Lakers. There was a Kurt Cobain one here that's pretty cool. This one right here. I actually think I remember that shirt. Uh, what the heck is that? Lion King. Oh, look at that. An overkill and an old school Nightwing figure up top. Stuff. A lot of random stuff in this. G.I. Joe Battle Corps. Got an old Neo figure there. Dude, these Masters figures right here have been sitting here for the longest time. Oh, dude, that thing's still here. I remember Robert wanted that Crow figure, but it was way overpriced and missing a lot of accessories. There we go. That's 24. Oh, speaking of gladiators right there, Brad just saw a replica um, mask that he wore or helmet. Yeah. Beethoven, lots of Disney titles. We gotta buy you this no. table, so when you get your next pap smear. What's a, what, what? What is that? Yeah, we're gonna hit one more spot here, and it's actually the Orange Circle Antique Mall. There's been nothing really here though today. Normally you'll, you'll find like one cool thing. I haven't found anything, so let's see if this thing, this store has anything cool. That looks pretty cool. This thing always had cars in here. Teletubbies. Commemorative plates. Sometimes you'll you'll find like a Batman one or a Star Wars one. Kids meals. One of says, oh dude, vintage turtle vehicles. Woo woo woo. Let's see. Um yeah, these are vintage. Actual vintage TMNT figures. I don't. I don't know what the heck this is. Possible vintage Jurassic Park play sets. I have this already, and it's complete. Jeez, this thing is like. What's the price? There's no price. I don't have this. Ten ninety nine. I'm pretty sure it's probably missing, missing some pieces. But that's cool. We have some cassette tapes here too. Brad. Brad might have found something. Holy. Oh. What'd you find? PS2. Oh, jeez. And a bunch of bands. How much is that? 40 bucks. It's missing a lot of stuff, though. Oh, man. My mom's like a big fan of Betty Boop. She would totally love all this stuff here. Do they got baby Betty Boops? Snow globes. My mom has a lot of this stuff. Oh, we got a lot of games here. Is it all just PS2? Well, there's this Xbox one right here. That's what it's called. Oh, dude, look at this. I was just talking about how I needed a Sonic 2 game, but it's only $20. This is what? 12 bucks? You might as well get it with the box. Batman Brave of the Bold. Oh, we got more over here, man. Those shoes. Barbies, vintage Barbies. What? You have an old version of Minecraft. Can you get it? No. Oh. Jeez. Whoa, we got some cards in here, man. What do we got? Genesis Gen 13. Gen 13 cards. Interesting. Whoa, look at this. This vintage. I don't know if this is vintage, but that is pretty nice. It's probably vintage. Um, wow. Gen 13. The old image. So this is Gen 13. All chromium collector cards from Chi. I don't really know what that is. This, this one over here is... What is this? Let's go to see. That Brad what the heck is... Oh, Battlestar Galactica. Oh, wait, we got some Goonies cards in here. Here's Thanos. 
We have baby dinosaur movie. Tron cards. Dude, that is pretty awesome. That's Dune. Yep, it's Dune. Bunch of random stuff in this one. What do you want for this? Battlestar Dune, Goonies, Gremlins. 75. Oh, dude. Awesome cover right there, a 9.4. There's Gambit. This one looks like it's signed. One, I don't know who it's signed by. Signed CGO oh, Claremont. And then we have some of the uh, Eagle Moss chess pieces. That's a cool freaking Spider-Man set. Looks like it's from animated series. That's pretty awesome. And then a lot of uh, the chess pieces. Commemorative plates. Oh, I didn't even notice this. This is an old school Wolverine wood base. Two pieces. Look at the base on that. That comic is awesome though. But I would want a higher grade. Old cameras for YouTube. Brad wants to start his YouTube channel. All right, so I found this right here. This um, Predator figure. It's only $20. It's an SDCC exclusive. I'm pretty sure it's worth more. And then we have another Predator here. That's an exclusive as well. But I think that one says $79 in the back. But this is priced wrong. It's actually a good, good price, I think. Look at that thing. What a gold label. Oh, there's a Britney Spears in there. Oh my God, it's a crazy price. What are those shoes? Okay, so I spotted a, a uh, old school video disc of... Dude, this is like a... Is... I don't know if this... This is the actual movie. This is crazy. This is from Creepshow. I've never seen one of these before. It's $25 for this. That is freaking sick though to see. I had a bunch of other ones, but none of them were good. And I came across a reissue of a key issue of the original X-Men. See, amazing, blah, blah, blah. But it's a reissue, which looks like to be, it's from the 80s. I and mean, it says it right there, but I've never seen this before. We got some X-Factors in here too. X Factor, they're double sided too, so you have to like really look through these. Another X Factor in there. X Factor back. Oh. That's it. But I don't know if this is like a good issue or not. It does look really old though. So I found a Nintendo section, but it's mainly just like NES games. There's one Super Nintendo game. And then they have cards here, which is pretty cool. And the end of displays to go with. Uh, Terminator and Aliens, both great sci-fi films. I don't know if these are comics, and they are comics. But Dragonheart, great movie, and then some photos, Star Wars. We got, oh, we got some graded cards. Ooh, I actually, I do have that Gambit card right there from Marvel Metals. Oh, I wish they had like a set here uh, to purchase of uh, Marvel Metals. What's the spawn issue number one go for? 9.2, 125. And then just a bunch of vehicles here dude this booth finally put up new stuff i think for the past like three to four years there was like nothing new here it's aquaman statues though check it out man vintage lunch boxes of gi joe's i don't even i don't i doubt those are vintage shirts back there but this is the booth where i got a bunch of my uh tmnt vintage vhs's which it looks like they're completely out of now damn still have those pins and this guy had like so many of these pins i think i think he's like seems like he's like turning away from figures and going into uh like the clothing awesome rc wolverine kiss okay check this out these are vintage not vintage but they're size 12 if they were 11s i would get these 60 bucks these are converse right pretty sure these are converse Gotta be Converse, doesn't say. But yeah, these are Batman. Yeah, the Converse. And the inside should have a different, no. That's cool. Size 12, ready. That is cool. Stanley Mutant Monsters double VHS. I don't think I ever owned that. 20 bucks. I also have a um, vintage Batman pin. Okay, for wh whoever remembers this, Guys, let me know in the comments down below. It actually says it on here, but where is this from? Or who played this character? Let me know. Okay, 
Brad and I came to a book off. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see, well, that's pretty cool. I see a spawn figure back here in McFarland. Don't need it. So I found this. Brad, show them what I found. So this is a complete series. I don't own this. I know it's on Blu-ray, but this set's awesome. $25 for the complete series of Batman Beyond with the booklet and everything included inside. Wow. 25 bucks, you gotta, you gotta go for it. You Dude, gotta do it. What do they have? Yoshi. Is that what you need? Yeah. Oh my God, they're playing your song. Oh, 40 bucks. Dude, I actually want the statue. No game, it's just a statue. I do want that, but I don't, eBay? What if it's, this is cheaper than eBay? They actually do have something cool here, which you don't see that often. You don't see old school, the crow, NECA figures, uh, $75, but I don't think the sculpt is going to be that great. To be honest, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that great. Um, I don't know what else is new here that they have. I know I did, I thought I saw something new. Oh, this is new, but I think I own this. I have so many of these. I, I want to say I do own that, but not sure. So I've been wanting this for quite a while. This is the uh, Mortal Kombat, I think this is Mortal Kombat X. It's just the it's just the statue, but it comes with the whole box, no game. So let's see, you can see the packaging's right here. Ah, it's tempting. It does need a little bit of a cleanup though. Look at this. Found an embossed, like almost steel book of the Hans Zimmer Man of Steel score. This is freaking cool. You got some good I never, I forgot to look at the soundtracks. I mean they got Godzilla. They have Batman Forever too. 